Good morning, everyone. We have been treated to some lovely late fall weather the past few days. This has given the farmers the opportunity to get a good part of the corn harvest finished, and we have been able to enjoy some precious time outdoors before the cold weather comes back. Try to drink in as much sunshine as you can, everyone. It is very hard not to think about what we were doing this time last year. I certainly remember how cold the weather was last November 11th. As my band and I stood at the cenotaph, we had never felt such bone chilling cold. I had little ones in tears who had to go warm themselves in parents' vehicles. I felt that times were pretty rough, but moving ahead to November 2020, we are witnessing a new kind of rough. Not only is there no Remembrance Day observance at the cenotaph this year, but I have no band that would even have been able to play. We can't forget the importance of remembrance though. Please take time to have your own ceremony and remember those brave souls who gave their lives or their healthy mental states to provide us with the freedom and privileges that we enjoy today. As well, please take a walk down Main Street to see the new banners of special people from Elmville who bravely committed themselves to preserving our democracy by serving overseas. There are many other things that I will try not to take for granted ever again. My father's hugs, a visit with a kind neighbor or friend, enjoying a huge family dinner and gathering with my siblings and nieces and nephews who I miss so much, even a day trip away and doing songs and movement games with my students, how I miss all of these activities and more. But then I think of the things that have become such a blessing as well. Seeing my dear friends and colleagues during a Zoom or FaceTime call, working together to provide meaningful worship, which also gives me the opportunities to reach out to my people, the joys of crafting, cooking and baking and music, spending time at home with my loved ones, seeing all my special church family in older clips of past church services, becoming even more poignant as we have lost so many special people. I can honestly say there are blessings to be found if I look closely enough. We think of Nora and her family as they grieve the loss of father, grandfather, and great-grandfather John at the Sarah Vista this past week. May they all feel the love from the St. John's congregation. I remember helping Verna and Heather with primary Sunday school when I was young. My sisters and I went to school and Sunday school with Liz and Connie, and now I even know the next generations through my roles as educational assistant and now teacher. They are Elmville stock through and through. We drove to the church on Friday and there were a bunch of hardworking men cleaning up the leaves and yard at the church. Fern was so happy to reconnect with Alan one of her partners in crime in the tech studio at the back of the church. We have such wonderful connections with dear people in our congregation and we need to remember that during tough times. They are here for us. They care a lot about us. Our auction is coming up in a couple of weeks. Let's support the outreach team in order to have a most successful fundraiser. It may look different, but we still have the opportunity to work together. Please contact Pam if you have donations for the auction. Happy birthday wishes go out to my dad on November 11th. I'll be making him a very special cake. Happy birthday wishes also go out to our special Bray Lynn on the 13th. We miss you so much. As well, happy birthday to Carrie on November 12th and her and Will's son, Oliver, on the 14th. I guess it's time, Oliver, that you record a special piano song for yours and your mom's birthdays. Have a great week.